big wild country out here. I'm gonna cover a lot of ground on foot, cover a lot of ground by glassing, hopefully turn up a buck. Just kind of working into the wind today, pretty overcast, looks like the storm's rolling in. But uh, got high hopes that we can find something. Man, it always blows my mind how you can look over so much really good country and just see nothing. 90% of the deer and 10% of the good spots. So you gotta look over a lot of places that look perfect that have nothing in it. So you find that one spot that for some reason they like. And then just keep honing in on all the places that are similar to that specific place where they're hanging out. moving up the hill this way. I just caught a glimpse of it. <sighs> Dang. He's a little bit younger than I'd like. A little smaller. I think we can find a better deer, but I hope I don't regret this decision later put that deer back there in five days to see what happens. Well, that wind definitely blew in some weather. Completely changed the scene. Went from no snow on the ground to white out conditions in some spots and good dusting on the ground. Hopefully this will get the deer moving though. Hunting these mountain bucks is a lot different than hunting other places. You gotta cover a lot of country. Pretty low density, but you, you go into these deep pockets with the hope of finding something that someone else hasn't seen. Or getting into a place that isn't really hunted. And there's a lot of miles in between, a lot of hard work, a lot of weather, but that's what makes it fun. Makes it an adventure. Gonna give him a pass though. Once it clears up, we're gonna be moving. Well, it's coming down to the wire. It's the last evening of the last day we've hunted hard. Just holding out hope that we can find a buck before the day ends. Up here high in the mountains, deer can be few and far between, but I come up here because I love this type of area. I love being in the mountains, chasing mountain bucks, and you know, it's not because there's a lot of deer, but when you find one, it's normally a big bodied deer like this one. Just been a cool hunt, 
didn't see a lot of animals, put in a lot of time. And now we've got some meat that we're gonna take home. We've gotta cut them up here and take them out in the backpack, pack them out. <laughs>